One of Australia's most important security partners is heading to the polls this week and it's widely expected voters in the UK will decide it's time to change government. Senior reporter Fiona Willen takes a closer look at how the race has unfolded so far. Voters in the UK will cast their ballots on July 4 and the opinion polls are predicting a landslide. After 14 years in power, the Conservatives have been consistently trailing the Labor opposition by around 20 percentage points. It's widely expected that Prime Minister Rishi Sunak will lose his job and Labor leader Keir Starmer will claim an historic victory. And a surprise entry has made the race even tougher for the Tories. I've changed my mind. It's allowed, you know. Brexit campaigner turned TV star Nigel Farage is running for a seat in the House of Commons after taking over as leader of the right-wing Reform UK party. And public support for Reform UK has climbed. It's been hot on the heels of the Conservatives in recent YouGov polls and at one stage in mid-June it even edged ahead by one point while Labor has maintained a clear lead. I think Farage and uh, Reform UK are a major problem for the Conservatives' uh, at chances of success. Uh, that, that This has opened up the possibility that Conservatives may lose some uh, uh, votes and hence seats uh, on, their, on their right flank. The divisive figure has brought chaos and colour to the campaign. My milkshake brings all the people to the rally. While the person expected to become Prime Minister has been striking a more serious tone. This Labour Party is totally committed to the security of our nation. Keir Starmer has confirmed he's committed to the AUKUS security pact between Australia, the US and UK, which our Defence Force is relying on to acquire a fleet of nuclear-powered submarines. But there's less certainty around what would happen to the deal if Donald Trump returns to the White House. His America First approach might put pressure on uh, something like AUKUS. Former Prime Minister Scott Morrison claims Donald Trump recently gave the plan a warm reception, but the former US president is yet to formally declare his position and has a reputation for being unpredictable.